It began with a dream, one that spanned two decades of planning, collaboration, and wonder. The Cassini-Huygens mission, a joint endeavor between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency, launched on October 15, 1997. Its mission? To explore the ringed planet Saturn like never before. What started as a scientific mission soon turned into one of the most emotionally gripping stories of space exploration. Cassini took nearly seven years to reach Saturn. In July 2004, it finally arrived and slipped into orbit, marking the beginning of a new era in planetary exploration. Scientists around the globe watched in awe as the spacecraft began beaming back jaw-dropping images, the golden rings of Saturn, the strange hexagon at its North Pole, and the moons, each with its own secrets. Visual. Close-up of Saturn's rings, storm systems, and Cassini navigating between them. Cassini revealed Saturn not just as a gas giant, but as a dynamic, living system. Its atmosphere roared with storms larger than Earth. The rings, those elegant bands of dust and ice, were not still, but ever-changing, shaped by gravitational tugs and collisions. But what truly shook the scientific community was Cassini's exploration of Saturn's moons, especially Enceladus and Titan. On Enceladus, Cassini discovered geysers shooting water vapor from beneath its icy surface. These plumes hinted at something unimaginable, a subsurface ocean warmed by tidal forces capable of supporting life. For the first time, we had solid evidence that a tiny frozen moon might harbor alien life. And Titan? A world shrouded in a thick orange haze. Cassini's radar pierced through the fog to reveal liquid methane lakes, rivers, and even rainfall. It was eerily Earth-like, but completely alien. Cassini's Huygens probe, the only probe to land in the outer solar system, descended to Titan's surface, surviving just long enough to transmit images of its pebble-like terrain. Cassini wasn't just collecting data, it was rewriting textbooks, and it captured the hearts of millions with images that seemed too beautiful to be real. But time was catching up. Cassini was running low on fuel, and NASA made a difficult decision. The spacecraft would not be left to wander aimlessly through space. It would be given a final mission. Visual. Text appears on screen. The grand finale begins. In April 2017, Cassini embarked on what NASA called the grand finale. A series of daring orbits would take the spacecraft closer to Saturn than ever before, between the rings and the planet's upper atmosphere. No spacecraft had ever flown this route. It was dangerous. One wrong move and Cassini would be shredded by debris. But Cassini performed flawlessly. With each orbit, it sent back images and data never before captured. We saw Saturn's atmosphere up close, the swirling clouds, the chaotic winds, the strange dark streaks in the inner rings. It was as if Cassini was giving us a final gift. One last look at a planet we thought we knew. And then the date was set, September 15th, 2017, Cassini's final descent. NASA scientists watched the live data in near silence. Millions of people across the world tuned in, knowing that Cassini's end was near. But the spacecraft, thousands of miles away, continued to do what it always did, send data. As it plunged into Saturn's atmosphere, Cassini fought to maintain its signal. It kept transmitting for as long as it could, beaming back readings from an alien sky. Scientists monitored the spacecraft's thrusters as they fought to keep the antenna aligned with Earth. The data stream continued and then stopped. Silence. Cassini was gone. It had disintegrated in Saturn's atmosphere, becoming part of the planet it had studied so faithfully. But just before that final dive, Cassini had sent back a last set of images, and what they revealed stopped the world. Visual. Cut to real Cassini final image montage. Saturn's atmosphere, Enceladus, Titan, the rings fading into darkness. The final photos were unlike anything before. 
One image in particular showed the sunlight glinting off the edge of Saturn's rings, casting a long shadow into the abyss. Another captured a final glance at Enceladus, the geysers still spraying into the void. But it was the final image, a look back at Earth through the shadowed rings, that made humanity hold its breath. Just a pale blue dot, our home visible beyond the darkness, a reminder of how small we are. A goodbye. Cassini's final images weren't just scientific artifacts. They were love letters from space. They spoke to something deeper inside us, the longing to explore, to know, to connect with the cosmos. Bill Nye called Cassini a time machine that revealed Saturn's past and hinted at our future. Astrobiologist Carolyn Porco, who led the imaging team, famously said, Cassini didn't just explore Saturn, it changed the way we see our place in the universe. Cassini taught us that oceans can exist in the most unlikely places, that organic chemistry thrives on distant moons, that alien skies can rain methane, and that we, tiny creatures from a pale blue dot, can reach across a billion kilometers and touch another world. But Cassini's most lasting legacy might be emotional. Students who once gazed at its images are now scientists designing the next missions. Artists, poets, and filmmakers draw from its beauty. And ordinary people, watching a spacecraft's silent fall into Saturn, felt connected to the cosmos in a way they never had before. Cassini's story reminds us of what we can achieve when we unite around science, curiosity, and hope. It reminds us that endings can be beautiful, that even a machine built from metal and circuits can have a soul if enough people believe in its journey. NASA is already planning missions to return to Enceladus and Titan, driven by the questions Cassini raised. Could there be life beneath that ice? What secrets still lie in Saturn's orbit? Cassini lit the path. Now it's up to us to follow. Cassini is gone. But its legacy will echo through time. In the silence of Saturn's skies. In the dreams of scientists. And in the wonder of every child who sees the stars and whispers, What's out there? Goodbye, Cassini, and thank you.